Hey everyone, welcome back to Ragtag Stacking. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about uh, gold and uh, the way that uh, they're looking to make sure it's uh, safe and secure and sustainably mined and, of course, digitally tracked. Now, I've talked about this uh, before with uh, some things that they've done with, uh, well, primarily silver I've talked about. They have these uh, NFC scan things where it's like this uh, like sticker you can put on the coins. They do have them for, uh, for gold as well. They come in like a plastic case and it's this ID that you can, uh, you can scan and it's so uh, to, to verify that it's authentic and everything like that. So of course, stackers don't want to have their gold and silver registered digitally and tracked and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't think that it's a, a high selling product. Every time I see them, they're very, very cheap. Uh, but yeah, they do kind of have things like uh, what I'm about to talk about already in place where they're saying it's for authenticity's sake, but the only thing they're adding is digital tracking. But anyways, those were NFC chips that were on here. This is something a bit different and a bit more um, on a global scale, not just uh, one particular mint uh, wanting to put these NFC or a couple of mints trying this NFC sticker stuff. This, they're trying to affect the entire industry. And uh, you know, it, again, in the article is gonna talk about it's for safety and that it's sustainably mined and from legal mines but it's basically they want to get the tracking in there because all the other stuff they're already doing, you know, they're, they're acting like they're not authenticating that the gold is uh, real right now. They're acting like they're not verifying it didn't come from a, an illegal mine right now. You know, they're, they're kind of presenting it like they need this new technology. And uh, well, anyways, I'm going to jump into the computer now, show you this article and show you exactly what this new technology is that they're uh, looking to push into the gold industry. So here's the article here, it's on uh, Yahoo Finance, and it says the gold industry is testing blockchain technology to track the global market supply chain of bars. It's going down here, it says the London, uh, the LBMA and the World Gold Council launched a pilot program to digitally track gold moving through the gold supply chain. Then it says gold bar integrity program will uh, test a blockchain based ledger aimed at monitoring gold balls from mine to vault. And it says uh, consumers, investors want to, and investors want to know their gold has been responsibly and sustainably produced, says the World Gold Council. Well, how are they, how are they assuring that right now? They are obviously doing so. They don't want to be selling, you know, illegally mined gold or fake gold to consumers or investors. But the only thing that's missing from what they have right now is digitally tracking. So obviously that's what they want to push here. So they clearly already have measures to make sure that the gold they have isn't counterfeit and that the, the way they obtain the gold is legally mined, all that stuff. Those measures are already in place, but the digitally tracking them isn't. So that's where they're going to want to come in with this blockchain stuff. And continuing down, says two major groups on Monday launched a pilot program to digitally monitor, monitor gold moving through the global supply chain as a way to ensure authenticity and bolster transparency within the market for the precious metal. And again, in this paragraph, the groups want to guard the market against counterfeit gold or gold that's been illegally mined. But again, they're already doing that. That's the point of these organizations is to ensure that. It's not the blockchain that's gonna be coming in to save them because they've been twiddling their thumbs and uh, not doing anything. That's their whole purpose is to make sure that it's legitimate gold, sourced responsibly, blah, blah, blah. All those measures are already in place. So the LBMA and the WGC said the plan over time is to encourage all major participants in the industry to adopt blockchain technology. Yeah, I'm sure that's the plan. It says uh, so that all gold bars are digitally registered and tracked. And so every single piece, you'll know exactly where it is. So that's not uh, going to be attracting a lot of uh, stackers. You know what I mean? They don't, they're not going to want people saying, don't worry, every single ounce of gold that you have in your uh, safe is, is safe and accounted for on this digital ledger. We know exactly how much you have and that it's real. You know what I mean? That's not going to be a selling point to a lot of people that are going to be buying it. So yeah, that was a quick little article. I basically read through the entire thing, but if you do want to read through it again, I will leave a link in the description. So yeah, it looks like they're trying to, to uh, get this uh, blockchain thing going on in the gold industry so that they can uh, track every piece of gold that uh, is out there. You know, I obviously think this is a horrible idea, but uh, you know, they're, they're just gonna continue doing what they want to do. And uh, I'm not very surprised at all that they're looking to do this. 
So there you go, there you have it. That is the article I want to show you there. And uh, yeah, they're not really, well at least me, they're not really fooling me with what they're trying to do here. And uh, yeah, you know, of course they're uh, selling it to people as if it's uh, you know a good thing to verify that uh, you know it's uh, everything's on the up and up, as if they're not already doing that. Uh, but yeah, this is basically just to track everything. They already have the other stuff um, uh, under control. Well, to the most part, uh, they do have measures in place. I'm sure stuff does slip by them, uh, but uh, you know, it's uh, it doesn't seem like they need to have a complete overhaul and just you know start this new system of digitally tracking everything uh, they uh, they want to do that you know that's something that they want to get done and uh, it looks like they're using this as a way to uh, kind of just cram it down people's throat and say oh we're doing this for you we're doing this to ensure you're gonna get the real stuff uh, the, you know we were ensuring that already but you know this is a better way of doing it so yeah as I said I'm, I'm sure I already know how a lot of you're gonna be feeling but I would love to hear from you in the comments uh, you know if you want to rant about it or on the off chance that someone might uh, like the idea of this, I would love to hear from you because uh, I don't really hear too many opinions of uh, wanting their gold and silver tracked. So uh, if you are, uh, if you do believe that and you do want this to be implemented and you want your gold and silver to be tracked in a uh, sort of a blockchain way with a digital record of it, I'd love to hear from you because you know I don't share that opinion. But uh, if you give a strong enough argument. I'm not above saying I could be swayed or I could be saying, oh, I'm thinking about it differently or I've been thinking about it this way, but the way you present it maybe. Uh, again, I would love to hear from you, but I don't really think there are too many out there that uh, are going to be pushing for this to be implemented. But yeah, like I said, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you come back for the next one. Thank you.